Before starting this video, I just wanted to quickly mention to you guys that I do post coupon codes on my Twitter and Facebook, specifically for earphones. Uh, you might find some other coupons for other devices at times, but mainly I do post coupons for earphones. So if you haven't already followed me on Facebook or Twitter, make sure to follow me so that you get notified of when I put up some coupons. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a pair of budget-friendly Bluetooth earphones. So these cost just about under 20 bucks and right now they're actually on sale for about $16, Canadian that is. Anyway, Gearbest did send these out to me to review, so I'll have links in the description below if you guys were interested in picking up a pair for yourself. Anyway, let's begin this review. So as you can tell, these are neckband-styled earphones. Some of you guys may like this style, some of you may not like this style. I personally have mixed feelings about it. So on one hand, there's a more stable fit around my neck as opposed to just a regular wire. But then on the other hand, I do find that this type of style pair of earphones bounces a lot when I run with them. So then what I usually do when this happens is I put my shirt collar over the neckband. And this basically prevents the neckband from jumping up and down. So the neckband is made out of a TPU plastic. For those of you that don't know what TPU is, it's basically a very flexible type of plastic. You do see this type of plastic on a lot of phone cases. So the neckband is made out of a very durable and flexible plastic, or so it seems. On the right side you have the remote, and on the left side I'm assuming that's where the battery is located. On the right side on the remote you have a total of three buttons, and then you also have a microphone. And then on the side of the remote you have the micro USB charging port. So the on and pairing button is in the middle, which is also a play and pause button. And then at the bottom and the top, you do have the volume up and volume down buttons. So the battery on the left side is a 130 milliamp hour battery. And it is stated that you do get a total of eight hours of music playback time. And it does take about one hour to charge these earphones up fully. So officially these earphones are noise canceling. So they have the CVC and CSR chip. Now whether or not this actually cancelled out the background noise, I didn't really notice anything so I can't really say that it does work. So the neckband doesn't feel premium per se, but on the other hand it doesn't feel cheap either. I would say it feels about average. In terms of build quality that is. Now moving on to the wire, as you guys can see this is a flat type earphone wire. And I always do prefer having this type of wire as opposed to a regular type of wire on a pair of Bluetooth earphones. I just find it to be more durable. But remember, on a pair of Bluetooth earphones. Now the earphone shells are made entirely out of metal, and they do have magnetic backing so you can snap these together when you're done using them. Though the magnet isn't that strong. The earphones do ship out with two sizes of silicone winged tips if you do decide to use them. Winged tips always do assist in keeping earphones in your ears. Now with these, they do that, but the problem is that the actual earphones don't stick in my ear canals. Though this could be exclusive to me since my ears are larger than average. So in terms of fit and comfort, these don't fit in my ears properly, but in terms of comfort, I would say that these are average. For my time using these, I didn't notice any discomfort. But anyway, with that said, these do ship out with a couple pairs of ear tips. Definitely on the smaller side, I couldn't find a pair to fit my ears properly. So I wasn't able to hear these earphones full sound potential until I switched out the ear tips. So after putting on my T8 ear tips, the sound definitely improved a lot. I was also hoping that the fit would change as well after switching out the ear tips. Unfortunately, the fit did not change at all. The earphones still kept falling out of my ear canals. But again, this issue could be specific to me only since I do have larger than average ear canals. Now moving on to the sound on these, it's actually pretty good. So you have the highs, lows and mids and they're all pretty much well balanced. For the bass, I would say it's slightly above average. So it's not over pronounced. I would say it's about the right amount of bass, especially if you're not into those bass heavy sounding pair of earphones. Soundstage is pretty good too. Overall, I would say that these are a pretty solid sounding pair of earphones for the price. Remember, these are Bluetooth earphones and they're under 20 bucks. There is no audio video delay when using these earphones, at least not that I could tell, so I would say that it's on point. Even when scrubbing back and forward on a video, the sound is always synchronized with a video. So seriously, thumbs up for that. I've tested a lot more expensive Bluetooth earphones than these, and those couldn't even keep up with a video. So again, the audio and video on these is synchronized, it's on point. And I did test this using my iPhone 6. Now let me give you guys a quick microphone sample so that you guys get an idea of what that sounds like. And here it goes. Hey guys, it's 
to what the microphone sounds like on the Ciro Flow X18 Bluetooth earphone. And I'm using my iPhone 6 with the voice memo app to record this. So as you guys just heard, the microphone on these sound pretty terrible. So I don't know if I would recommend these if you're looking specifically for a headset for your phone. But for the people I would recommend these for is if you're looking for a nice inexpensive sounding pair of Bluetooth earphones for just under 20 bucks, then these would be it. Now, obviously these aren't perfect earphones. They do have some flaws specifically with the fit and microphone, but what doesn't fit me may fit you since everyone does have different ears. But when it comes to the microphone, I can't really defend that since the microphone does sound pretty crappy. I mean, you guys heard it. That's what it sounds like. So guys, that's going to be it for my review on the X18, Zero Flow X18 Bluetooth earphones. If you guys did find this review helpful, please do hit that like button. If you do want to see more videos like this in the future, please do hit that subscribe button. For now, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.